Hey YouTube, Peter Carbon here. In this video I'll show you how to make a tablet binder which you can use for school, work, play, or whatever. So let's get started. So to build this, here's what you will need. A Saint Smart 7 inch touchscreen, Raspberry Pi, Wi-Fi dongle, HDMI cable, two power banks, ribbon cable, two USB cables, solder remover, soldering iron, solder, tape, scissors, wire cutter, and a binder with large front as shown. So I started by taking a pair of scissors and I cut out the front dividers in the pocket just to make room for the pie and all the components. Since I had no use for these uh, dividers, I just threw them away. I then removed all the large components, keeping the ethernet port and the headphone jack. Next I soldered wires onto all the holes left over from removing them. And I also took my Wi-Fi dongle and I took it apart, and I soldered wires to that. Then I started splitting apart the ribbon cables so that I could dip then resolder the components on. There you can see the headphone jacks on, then I soldered the USB ports on. And I saved the Ethernet port for the last because I knew that that had the most connections and it would require the most work. And as you can see, everything's soldered on correctly. I then took the Wi-Fi cable and slid it into the holes, making sure that all the wires were in the right spots. I then flattened down the wire so I could easily solder, and that's just what I did. I then took the cable and I wrapped it around the pie. There was a nice little sticky pad on the bottom, allowing me to stick it right on top. And there you can see, it's all done. I next had to shorten down my HDMI cable. I did this by cutting it open, only to find that there were way too many wires for me to solder in. They're also very small. So I decided just to purchase a smaller one off of Amazon, which cost me about $7. The next step was for me just to put it all together to make sure that it still worked. Plugged in the HDMI cable and all the cables, and I turned it on and it still worked just fine. Now you can see, it turned on, no problems at all. Next I took my binder and I opened it up. I then placed the screen in so that I could trace out the shape using a sharpie. This was so that I could cut a hole for the screen to shine through. I then took a little razor blade and I started cutting it out. I finished it off with a pair of scissors. Then used some tape and I was able to secure it pretty well. Then, just to make sure that it still worked and everything fit, I plugged everything in and I crammed it all together. And it came on. I also cut some holes in the side for the USB ports and the Ethernet port. And as you can see, it works great. So next time you need a binder and a small computer, you'll have it all in one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe for more coming soon. And also share and like this video. Any questions or comments here, please sure be sure to leave them down below. And I will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you. Adios.